In today's Durham Diaries, we are talking to Dr. Shoshana Kindred, the owner of Kindred Hair and Skin, to talk more about clogged pores. It's something that we all deal with, and we are also joined by Amira Kinlaw, who's going to give us a skinny on that as well. Hello, you two. Hey, hey how's it going? going? Good, good. Of course, this is something we don't really want to talk about. It sounds funny to smile about clogged pores, but with you guys, <laughs> we're going to get in front of the issue. So Dr. Kendra, just start out telling us what exactly is responsible for it and how do we get rid of it? Clogged pores, super common. And it's usually our pores clogged with dead skin, oil, yeast, bacteria, and it builds up. It's especially common in people where it looks like little tiny microscopic hairs are sticking out of their uh, their pores, particularly on their nose. That's called trichostasis spinulosa. And then just sebum, right? Just that natural gunk in our pores um, is very common as well. It's worse in the winter because dry skin triggers more oil production. Okay. And that excess oil can trigger more yeast, at least yeast in abundance. And you end up in this pretty bad cycle for a while. And sometimes it can get so bad it mimics acne. And we usually just call it folliculitis. Got it. Cloud core is very common. And uh, Amira Kenlaw, you are an RN. And I know that your own derm story, your derm diary is more so about the fact that not only do you help people with their clogged pores, but you yourself have experienced that firsthand, correct? Yes, for many years. Um, it's almost like as I got older, acne just presented itself on my face. And it was just very, um, it was very tiresome. I was very tired of having the acne issue. So I was so happy to be able to get a hydrofacial here at Kendra Hair and Skin, which really, really opened my pores up. It is really helpful to know that there's a place that we can go. I too struggled with acne when I was growing up. I thought that I had passed it by the time I was in college. And guess what? It uh, came uh, back uh. as an adult. That was wonderful. <laughs> Love that in my 20s. Now it's gone again. But do you see that sometimes where throughout their lives, it might be teenagers, 20s, and now for, mm -hmm. I don't know, I could wake up tomorrow and see it again. Do you see that sort of ebb and flow with skin? And, and why is that? Mm -hmm. I think it's Murphy's law because it's not going to pop up until you have some big event coming <laughs> or a right before a wedding or something like that. Right. So stress is one of the things and then hormones as well. Yes. Then most importantly, if you have one bump and you pop it, now you have two or three and it's because you popped it, manipulated it, messed with it. Yes. Leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. And if you need to treat, treat it, we can literally suction the gunk out. Mm -hmm. We can prescribe creams that help to regulate the pores. But in the end, I think it's Murphy's Law. <laughs> and not really gross, but since we're talking about gross things, I think sometimes we see like a blackhead and not to be gross, but or like a solid piece of like uh, oil. And I shouldn't say piece. I don't know what you would call it, but you want to get it out. We're not. You know, just, like, yeah. You look in the mirror and you're just like, ew, I don't want that there. Mm. Are you telling our viewers right now, like, just leave it alone and don't manipulate it or get it out because it shouldn't be there anyway? I'm not telling, I'm begging our viewers <laughs> to leave it alone. To speed it up, you can use a retinol, like a dapolene is available over the counter. That'll dry it up a little bit faster for you. And then just as you wash your face, it'll come off. Let the skin get rid of it. If you okay. want to speed it up, then come in the office, but let the skin do it when the skin's ready. All right. Well, you said that emphatically. I'm begging you. So <laughs> we know we should not be doing that. And I'm assuming um, you as an RN, Amira, you echo that same thing with your patients, correct? Definitely. Definitely. Leave it alone. Do not touch it. Come, let us help you. <laughs> yes, and we'll yes. listen to you because like I said, your skin is glowing, beautiful, both of you. Oh, and the you. fact that you've been there before I think that mm -hmm. gives everybody a little bit of hope. Okay. So exactly. someone's watching today and they're like, yo, doctor, I'm about to squeeze this thing. I need to make an appointment with you. <laughs> How do right. I get in touch with you? Absolutely. Don't squeeze it. Type www.kindredhairandskin.com instead. Yep. All right. Yep. Make that call quick. So don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Thank you so much for being with us. We love having you for our Derm Diaries. We appreciate it. Appreciate you. you being with us too, Amira. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.